Have you ever felt pushed too far by a narcissist? It starts subtly, almost unnoticeably, like a tiny crack in a dam that gradually widens and deepens until the structure can no longer contain the pressure. The narcissist, a master of manipulation, begins to chip away at the empath's boundaries. They test the limits, subtly and persistently, disregarding the empath's needs and feelings. This is a slow dance of emotional manipulation, sometimes even verbal abuse, or worse, physical aggression. The narcissist, consumed by their own needs, sees the empath as a wellspring of emotional labor, a source to draw from without consideration for the cost. The empath, naturally inclined to prioritize others, finds themselves pouring out their energy, their compassion, their very essence, into the narcissist's bottomless well of need. This cycle, this relentless give and take, can leave the empath feeling drained, emotionally exhausted, and running on empty. But the cost doesn't end there. As the empath bends over backward to accommodate the narcissist's demands, they may find their sense of self beginning to waver. Their identity, their self-worth, becomes eroded, worn down by the ceaseless effort to please the narcissist, to keep the peace, to maintain the status quo. It's a heartbreaking realization when the empath looks in the mirror and struggles to recognize the person staring back at them. The vibrant, compassionate individual they once knew seems to have vanished, replaced by a shadow, a specter worn thin by the narcissist's unending demands. The empath may find themselves questioning their worth, their value, their very identity. It feels as though they've lost themselves in the vast, turbulent sea of the narcissist's needs. It's a chilling feeling to look within and find a stranger where you used to be. As the empath, you may have found yourself bending over backward, losing your sense of self in the process. This is the subtle buildup, the slow erosion of the self that can occur when a narcissist pushes an empath too far. But remember, this is not the end of the story. It's merely the beginning of a transformative journey. So what happens when the narcissist pushes an empath too far, you might ask? Picture a teetering stack of blocks, each one representing a boundary crossed, a hurtful word, a disregarded need. Then the final block is added, the weight becomes too great, and the stack collapses. This triggering event, this final block, could be anything from a scornful insult to an outright disregard of a sacred boundary. Suddenly, the empath finds their voice, standing tall amidst the fallen blocks. They assert their boundaries with a clarity and strength that surprises even them. This could look like a direct confrontation, a firm declaration of what they will and will not accept, or perhaps the severing of the relationship entirely. The narcissist, accustomed to a pliable empath, is taken aback. They may react with anger, guilt tripping, or threats, trying desperately to scramble the blocks back into place. But the empath, now standing tall, is no longer willing to be a part of their game. The narcissist, stunned, may react with anger, guilt tripping, or threats to regain control. After pushing back, the empath embarks on a journey of empowerment and healing. This journey is not a simple stroll in the park. It's a transformative process, a metamorphosis of the empath from a caterpillar trapped in a cocoon of narcissistic abuse into a butterfly ready to spread its wings and embrace its newfound freedom. With every step, the empath experiences a surge of empowerment. They feel a newfound strength in asserting their boundaries, prioritizing their own needs, and saying no when necessary. This is a significant shift, a stark contrast to their previous pattern of self-sacrifice and over-accommodation to the narcissist's demands. As they navigate this path, the empath begins to redefine their concept of self-worth. No longer tethered to the whims of the narcissist, they can now appreciate their own value, independent of anyone else's approval or validation. The narcissist's reaction to this shift can be varied and unpredictable. They may attempt to hoover the empath back into the cycle of abuse, employing manipulative tactics such as guilt tripping, gaslighting, or feigning remorse. However, the empath, now armed with awareness and resilience, is likely to resist these attempts. In some instances, the relationship may end permanently. It's a tough decision, but sometimes it's the only viable path to break free from the cycle of abuse. The empath realizes that their well-being is not negotiable, and they have the right to walk away from anyone who threatens it. The aftermath is also a journey of self-discovery for the empath. They learn to understand and value their own needs and boundaries. They build a stronger support system, surrounding themselves with people who respect and affirm them. They also develop healthier coping mechanisms for dealing with future encounters with narcissists, ensuring they do not fall prey to the same patterns of manipulation and control. This journey is not linear, and it's certainly not easy. It requires patience, resilience, and a lot of self-compassion. 
But every step taken is a step towards freedom, towards a life of respect, dignity, and authentic connections. The empath continues on their journey of self-discovery, learning to understand and value their own needs and building a stronger support system. Opening. It's important to remember a few key things when dealing with a narcissist. When you find yourself in the tug of war with a narcissist, it's crucial to acknowledge the magnitude of the challenge you're facing. It's not a walk in the park. Pushing back against a narcissist can be a daunting task, filled with emotional hurdles and psychological trials. The journey may feel like an uphill battle, but it's a battle worth fighting for your mental well-being. Let's not underestimate the emotional toll this can take on you. The constant push and pull, the manipulation, the emotional degradation, they can weigh heavy on your heart and mind. In these times, it's essential to remember that it's okay to seek help. Reach out to trusted friends, family, or a professional therapist. You don't have to face this journey alone. There are people who care about you, who want to see you thrive, and who are ready to lend a listening ear or a helping hand. Healing from narcissistic abuse is not a race. It's a marathon. It takes time, it requires patience, and it demands a lot of self-compassion. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. But on those days, remind yourself of your strength, your resilience, and your worth. Don't rush your healing process. Instead, embrace it one step at a time. Remember, you are not alone in this. Many before you have walked this path and have come out stronger on the other side. Their experiences, their stories, their victories can serve as a beacon of hope in your darkest moments. Use their strength to fuel your own. Above all, know that you hold the power to break the cycle of abuse. You have the right to establish and enforce your boundaries. You have the right to a life free from manipulation and control. You have the right to be treated with respect and kindness. Closing. Remember, you deserve respect and healthy relationships. You have the power to build a life free from manipulation and control.